Okay, I promise you there's a good reason why I'm surrounding myself with pothos today. I want to make this video really quick before I start my workday. It is Friday, March 25th. So on Wednesday, I was just doing my job at the fish store. And when my friend Aaron called me and said there is a new mutant Manjula pothos in town, would you like one? I was like, how many do they have? He said he has like three left. And so I was like, I'll take all of them. If there's a new mutant pothos in town, you know how pothos are, they're very easy to grow. Um, I want it. Okay, let's start off with this. There's only four common pothos on the market. I believe since like the 1970s or whatever. Um, you find them in your big box stores. There's the Neon, which is this one back here. There is the Jade, which is in my terrariums I don't want to take out. Uh, the Golden, which is really high up and I don't want to get it, but I did take a cutting so it's just where you can see. And then there is the Marble Queen, which I don't have. Um, so from those four strains, the University of Florida cultivared uh, and hybridized a bunch of other strains. So like the Pearls and Jade, like the Enjoy right here. Enjoy is absolutely beautiful. And uh, we got the Global Green Pothos right here. And then uh, there's like the Glacier and all that. And then we have the Manjula. The Manjula, um, they, they did come around for a little bit. I have a cutting here. Um, so from the Manjula, they cultivar another one, which was a mutant Manjula, and which I have right here. So this is a more narrow form of Manjula. Look how beautiful this is. It looks like a Philodendron Gabby. I have three of them. Here's another one. You see how narrow those leaves are? Kind of looks like the Heteraceum. Kind of. And here's the third one. Look at this third one. So, from my understanding, take it with a grain of salt, I'm just a random guy on the internet that just got into plants recently. What I read was that this cultivar was um, hybridized and then um, it kind of escaped the lab. Just like something similar happened back in 2007 when a couple other cultivars escaped. And so it literally is a lab leak. Now, how they made it onto the market here in March, I have no idea. But the reason why they stopped the cultivar program is because it's insanely hard to grow and it's very finicky and you can't even really propagate it. Now they are protected under a copyright. So I believe that Pearls and Jade is protected under a patent 21217. Sounding really nervy here, but uh, like, let's say if you went and bought one of these global greens from Lowe's, they'll have an actual sticker on there or a tag that says do not propagate. Right here we have the Cebu Blue from the Cebu Islands in the Philippines. Now um, all these other prothos came from the Solomon Islands. What you may not know is they can't really flower in their native environment, let alone in a controlled environment in a lab, right? So whatever these people at University of Florida did to hybridize these pothos is pretty amazing. And so um, I just want to show you like this new uh, rare mutant strain of pothos that's hitting the market. And if you do see them out there, you know, grab them because people are charging an arm and a leg for them. So I believe there's a couple of people charging like 200 to $400 for a cutting. I don't know. Um, as you can see, it's all white too. So it has a very, very high uh, percentage of maybe not growing or just browning on you, right? So be careful out there. Get your pothos while you see them in stores. If you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away one of these UFO potters which are absolutely amazing, right? These were made pretty famous by Benji Plant, which is a fantastic channel. When I first started getting into plants, I started watching him. And then like my other favorite is Only Plants with Sean from Indonesia. <laughs> so Benji made these super popular. He hung his Hoya Linearis upside down. So there's a hole where you can hang stuff upside down. You can hang a Rick Rack Cactus. I was thinking of hanging the Dion plant. I'll show you right here. Um, but the Jurassic plant, um, just a single leaf kind of plant will look really neat. So yeah, I have brand new one right here, ready to give away. Now the giveaway will end on Easter. So I believe that is next month. <laughs> I'm really terrible with dates. So it'll end on Easter. I'll come back and check this and then we'll do a drawing and then I'll announce the winner. Fantastic looking ceramic work. They always sell out. So pretty much comment anything. Comment 
uh, let's say, comment your most recent plant or your most favorite plant. And then you could win one of these. Thanks for sticking around.